What is up guys, it's ya boy Rick, uh, must have five clears, know what to do, or kick Cacus here. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel, and let me know what you think my next intro name should be. That comment section is out of control. Alright, today we've got some brand spanking new Destiny 2 news, courtesy of the Bungie Weekly Update that has just gone live, unveiling official information. And so, let's get started. But just before we do, we got a huge sale on Advanced GG. If you guys are real gamers, if you guys are real grinders, especially with double Nightfall loot available for the next few days, if you use code KHD25, it is 25% off the best and only clinically proven gaming supplement out there. I've got my flavor, Cactus Kiwi Lime. There's M-Tash Mango Splash. Frostbolt's got a flavor. Uh, Sir Demetrius has a new sour watermelon flavor. Guys, buy any of their flavors, support amazing content creators get that energy and that focus to be grinding like an absolute gamer code khd25 for the sale all right moving on from there let's talk about what happened this week in destiny 2 before we get on to the twab there was actually a hot fix that went live today as well and it revealed some very important information specifically having to do with the raid so essentially what's happened is that the master difficulty and the normal difficulty loot has been separated and so that means you can do a normal vault of glass and then you can do a master vault of glass and you will get loot for each and also super importantly if you're doing a master vault of glass weapons will not drop so normal weapons will not drop now that's actually a really good thing because if you're doing a master you're doing it for the time lost like basically special adept weapon and that drops from whatever encounter is the featured challenge mode encounter, but for the rest of the encounters, you're actually really wanting armor because there's a different rotating featured stat. So one week, it'll be an intellect week, and then all of the armor drops will have spikes in intellect. So now you're guaranteed armor drops before you could just get normal weapons and they were completely wasted drops. Now it is much more worth it to do a full master vault of glass every single week. So for you hardcore raiders out there, this is some very good news. But moving on to the TWAB. So first things first, right now we have Solstice of Heroes ongoing, but that's going to end on the upcoming reset Tuesday, August 3rd. So you have just a little bit of time left to complete your armor. Remember, if you're on the stage where you're going after the glows, so you're on the objectives where you're doing a dungeon, a raid, etc., you don't have to complete that by August 3rd. You can complete that on, on your own leisure whenever. But moving on from there, Bungie has a full reveal of crossplay. That's right, crossplay is arriving to Destiny 2 with the start of season 15 on August 24th. So, what the heck is going on with that? Well, it turns out quite a lot. Firstly, you will have to have a dedicated singular name, especially because on Steam, you can change your name at a whim. It's going to be really hard to track players, especially when you are getting, you know, console players into PC lobbies now and into Stadia lobbies, whatever, you're going to need a dedicated name. So you will have a new Bungie name as it's referred to. So as you can see from this screenshot right here, you have your uh, Bungie name, which is your player name, and then a hash, and then a random number assortment. And again, this is going to make life a lot easier if you're trying to invite and track down players on different platforms. And here's an example of what that will look like in the tower. So, you know, pretty much the same thing. However, to accomplish this, what they're going to do is run everyone's names through a character filtration process and offensive terms and also characters that don't mesh in different platforms are going to be removed. So especially on Steam, if you have like the little hand cannon symbol in your name, obviously that can't come up on console. So that's going to be removed and stuff is going to be replaced with like random numbers as well. So just keep that in mind. But that also means if you have a wild name out there, go ahead and change it right now before that process happens. 
Now, with the introduction of crossplay, your friends list also is going to change. So now it's going to be called Bungie Friends, and you're going to be able to add everyone via their special Bungie name uh, to this list, and it will have one flat list that displays people, whether they're online or not, on different consoles kind of like how your clan will display people on different platforms as well right now. But now that's gonna apply to your entire friends list. And here is how you're going to add people uh, to that Bungie friends list via crossplay. But of course, there's also the question of how do invites work? Like if I'm on PC and I wanna invite someone to my fire team who's on PlayStation, like how are they gonna get that invite? Well, Bungie is changing that to in-game invite. So here's a screenshot for how that will look. You go into your roster and you can see your fire team invite. So you'll get an in-game notification and it'll say, hey, someone from PlayStation wants to play with you and then you can just go and join their fire team again through this in-game method. And this screen will also display your friend requests and clan invites. And it also has a built-in player search function as you can see where you can enter their Bungie name and find them anywhere. But of course, to prevent you hooligans from spamming me with invites to carry you through raids, there's also additional privacy features Bungie added too. However, although most people are very excited for crossplay, there is a big negative, and that is how do you balance the different platforms, especially PC versus console, there is some substantial differences. Well, Bungie says that on launch, in their competitive game mode, so Crucible, Iron Banner, Trials, Gambit, etc., here's what's gonna happen. PC players are gonna match with other PC players. Console players will match with other console players, but Stadia is actually in the console pool. That's kind of interesting. And then fire teams with any combination of PC and consoles will match into that PC player pool. But for PVE game modes, there's one global matchmaking pool. So anyone can play with anyone in PVE. However, something important to know, Voice chat between different platforms is not going to be available right at crossplay launch. Bungie said they were having issues getting this done. They thought about delaying crossplay as a whole because of this, but decided against it. So, guys, here is the full timeline for everything crossplay related. So, early season 15. Bungie name and Bungie friends, cross-platform invites, multiplayer and matchmaking, and player search and social privacy. Soon after launch, they're going to enable cross-platform voice chat. Then in winter, you can change your Bungie name if you're not happy with what the filter did to it, etc. Then also in the winter, text chat display on consoles, so you can type away on Steam and people on console will actually be able to see you. Then we've got uh, text input via USB keyboards on consoles as well, so the console people can chat right back. And there you have it, that is the full announcement, all the info about crossplay. However, there is kind of one thing missing, the exact date it goes live. Well, Bungie says it's going live with like the beginning of season 15, but they don't know the exact date. Maybe it will be that launch day, maybe it'll be a day after, maybe it'll be the first reset after launch. We don't exactly know and they're going to let us know, but it is going live in season 15. Moving on from there, uh, the next and last Iron Banner of this season goes live next uh, reset on August 3rd to August 10th. So if you haven't got that Reese Walker shotgun, that thing is fantastic and this is definitely the time to do it. And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.